paradoxes. Do you know what they are? If not, be careful of ruining your life without you knowing. But if you think I'm joking, change the video. Good luck. But if you do, you know that they are a seemingly absurd proposition which, when investigated, may prove to be true. For example, take this. This statement is false. If what is written is true, it means it's false. But if it's false, then it means it's true. So what the hell is it? True or false? You may think that these are nothing more than funny thought experiments. But what if I told you that 1. There are some so dangerous they could literally ruin your life and 2. You are most likely victim to one of them right now and are suffering because of it. No one has ever warned us about how dangerous paradoxes can be. Stick until the end if you wanna know if you are actually falling into one of these traps. 1. The cognitive bias paradox or also called how to convince yourself you're always right <laughs> despite all the evidence to the contrary. What is this? It's a trick that our mind plays when we search for, interpret and favor new information to confirm our pre-existing ideas. Imagine your brain on the couch, flipping through TV channels. Every time it encounters something that contradicts its ideas, it immediately changes the channel. But when it finds one that confirms its beliefs, it says, I told you, I was right. Why is it a paradox? Because if we fall for it, we are convinced that we are objective and rational people when in reality we tend to ignore any information that deviates from our pre-existing worldview and we end up acting irrationally. Why is it dangerous then? Because, for example, if we hold negative beliefs about ourselves and others, we'll unconsciously seek confirmation of their truth regardless of their validity. Maybe you think that no matter how hard you try, you'll never be highly successful. Then when you'll stumble, what do you think your mind will say? See, I told you. Instead of understanding that failing is a normal part of the process, we will confirm that we'll never be successful. Or maybe you think that people are usually mean. You didn't get a promotion at work and you're convinced it's because your boss has a voodoo doll with your face on it. Every email with please correct this mistake becomes I hate you, please disappear. The reality could be that there is no negative intention behind these actions, but we cannot see it. Because of this paradox, we prefer to think that yes, in the end, people are usually mean. Be aware of this. 2. The eudaimonic paradox. Seems like a bad joke of the universe. It says this. Do you want to live a full and happy life? <laughs> well, prepare to suffer. Think of it this way. Our intuition tells us that to live a happy life, all we have to do is have positive experiences. If the world were only rainbows and unicorns, we will be all happy, isn't it? Just avoid the bad stuff and it will be alright. Actually, that's not the case. And here's the paradox. Very often, to reach higher levels of inner fulfillment, suffering is necessary. Want to increase your level of happiness? You have to face all the situations that make you feel bad and transcend them. Counterintuitively, running away from pain is what will make you suffer even more. Let's say you want to quit the job you hate and start your own business. That means happiness, right? Yeah, but also suffering. Statistically, 20% of new businesses fail in just two years. To seek a higher level of well-being, you are going towards disappointment after disappointment. Harsh realization. But if you stick to it, you'll get there. Want a healthy relationship? Again, it won't come without conflict. You'll have to compromise, smooth out your character, and change some of your behaviors. A lot of hardship, but it will be worth it. Ask yourself, what am I avoiding? Be aware of this trap. And finally, the change consistency paradox. What's that? It states that to live a great life, we must be in constant evolution without changing who we truly are. <laughs> like what? Make up your mind. Should we change or remain the same? It works like this. In life, stagnation equals death. We must be able to grow, improve our habits, behaviors, and mind. We need to adapt and learn from our past. So, change is good. Until it's not. <laughs> Why? Because too much change at once will make us lose ourselves. What we need is an identity encore. It's nothing more than a set of characteristics, traits and values that define the core of ourselves. In this way, we can support evolution on a solid mental and emotional ground. And this is the paradox. We must change and at the same time accept ourselves for who we are. We must want more from us while being okay with what we already have. Yeah, I know, quite a mindfuck. Are you in constant evolution or are you stuck with your current identity? Think about it. The more you study how life works, the more you realize how apparently rational it is. But that's exactly what makes it fun. It's a never-ending paradox. If you fall for them, you'll create a life you resent. But if you master them, you'll become unstoppable. If you want to learn more about it, subscribe. See you in the next one, my friend.